Ya bir kimse onun izi var ya hapsa sevdim. Endorse Kirby'cim absolutely they don't like me. So they publicly say that I'm human scum. And my name is Yenmi Park and I'm 21 years old. I lived in North Korea for 13 years and I left in 2007. In North Korea, there's no books, no songs, no movies, no newspapers talking about love or human story. When I was in the middle school, in the morning we study. So like math and it's all related to how to kill Americans. And like, you know, for example, we learn things that no, there is 10 Americans and you care the five Americans of them. How many left to care? And we say five American bastards. <laughs> and that's kids have to answer like that. After I escaped I, North Korea, I went to China. I was a slave for a man who bombed me in China. Yeah, I have no dignity in my life. And even when I, I always had to run for my life. Before I go to sleep, I tie my shoes. So if something happens, I have to run away. So I open my windows, even though the weather is so cold. And always I had to live with that fear that I will be arrested. And if I get arrested, then I will be executed or imprisoned forever. There's electricity. So when we turn the lights, you <laughs> push the button, the lights just come in. And that's a very normal thing for them. And for me, it's like, what? <laughs> Lies is coming whenever you want. Even to me, the wire phone was a miracle to me in North Korea. I was like, somebody can hear my voice through this, you know, the wire? How is that the world is flying to get there? But here you don't have wire anymore. <laughs> and 25 million people who are born in North Korea, because of they just born in North Korea, that's all they have done. That's their crime. So I had to be sold, I had to be raped, and you know, I had to give up my dignity while I was there. And I had to run, I had to spend my life fighting, you know, fighting for freedom. For a long time I could not do anything for myself because I was belong to the states, belong to a dictatorship, dictator, or belong to some Chinese man. And now, finally I'm free. So that's freedom makes me, freedom allows me to do everything. <laughs> so I think one of the things is being positive and being optimistic.